Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel today. I got Avada Kedavra and Perfectus Totalis. I've started off with Peel Ease Peel Off Base Coat. I'll be using Silver Sweet by Sally Hansen and the Perfectus Totalis. I'll be using those together, and then I'll be using this China Glaze UV Meant to Be along with Avada Kedavra. I'm going to layer these because I don't want to use up my special polishes. <laughs> So I found polishes that were similar in my collection to use as base colors. I know, silly, silly, silly girl. So, but you know, it's just my way, it, you know, I don't do it all the time. I do it sometimes. And this UV meant to be, it's a little messy, so I apologize. Um, it's a little bit of a watery formula. You know, China glazes can be tricky, but their colors are always amazing at least in my opinion I really do love China glaze and they're not all like this so they all have their own issues <laughs> so here's Woody to the rescue I'm gonna help mom clean it all up make it look better look at that fantastic job he's just doing such a good job look at that very nice I always like to clean up as we go. It's just easier in my opinion. So there we go. And I'm just going to put one coat of each of those down. And now we're going to go in with the special polishes. And look how flaky fantastic that is. It's so crazy it's messing the camera up. <laughs> Gorgeous. Now I'm going to do some stamping on this because you guys know I'm, I'm a stamper. I, I like to do all sorts of nail art, but stamping seems to be my go-to. I do want you to know that I wore this mani just like this. Well, you're going to get to see a swatch photo of it, too, all by its lonesome. But I did wear it by itself for a day or two before I did the stamping. So, I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry so that I can do, you know, my chores and eat my dinner or whatever. But I do really, really like this one. And it just helps smooth it out. Make sure I don't mess it totally up, you know. There's Woody again. But like I said, I don't want you to always think that I just, you know, cover up every manicure with some stamping. A lot of times I do wear them for a day or two and then do some stamping on it if it'll hold up. You know, sometimes I'm pretty hard on them and... Sometimes I stamp anyway, even if I've been hard on them. What do you get at work out today? That's gorgeous. I love these polishes. So here's my swatch photo of it on its own. Next, I'm going to be stamping with Bundle Monsters Astronomical. And I'll be using this Harry Potter plate from Hehe025. I got my little mat down so that I don't make such a mess. I've decided I don't like the paper towels. So I've got my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper out also. I thought I would give my little, you know, art craft mat a chance for stamping. And let me tell you, I really do like it because the plate kind of sticks to it and it doesn't move around. I'm cleaning off some of the excess I don't want on my nail. And here we go. I'm going to do that blue over the silver hollow flaky nails. A little hard to see. And then I'm going to clean this plate off with some acetone and a cotton ball. And we're going to do it again. So there we go. And off camera, totally. Sorry. <laughs> But I did get it on there. <laughs> and look, I broke my Fabian Nail Scraper. Oh, so I'll be using a Bundle Monster Scraper for the rest of this. I'll be using Silver Mercedes from Pure Ice to do some more stamping on those blue nails. Can't believe I broke my favorite scraper. Mm. Oh well, I've got a whole pile of scrapers. So have to go through them and see which one I like. <laughs> and again, just cleaning that plate off with some acetone. 
Now, Silver Mercedes is not a stamping polish. It's a regular polish. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but if you find a silver from Pure Ice, it's probably the same polish, and um, it, it would probably work great for stamping. So there we go. We're going to do some cleanup with some tape, and I'm happy to report that this cleanup goes excellent. I mean, this is like best case scenario right here. This stuff is coming off perfectly. Love it. So there we go. A little bit more right there. And we're going to go straight in with some top coat. No need for acetone cleanup. That's what I'm talking about. Love it. I love these polishes. These are fabulous. I know you thought I was going to say fantastic again. I changed it. So I'm capping my tips when I do this top coat because I want this manicure to last for a couple more days. You know, get three or four days out of, you know, my base mani, I'm pretty happy. There we go. So I got my swatch photo coming up. There's Woody again. You know, got to hop out there. Make sure everything's clean. And I would love to hear what you think about this one. Please leave me a comment down below. I always love chatting with you in the comments. Here's that swatch photo. So thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.